Okay, I'm uh, reporting on the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, Occupy Honolulu. It's uh, the sun's starting to come up here in uh, Honolulu. Last night, uh, I guess around 2:30 a.m., uh, police arrived. A number of police, both in cars and in uh, on on bike on motorcycle and uh, seized the property in the park area even stuff that was not tagged they used a park seizure um, law and the uh, encampment immediately came back up this is going to be the uh, third rebuilt um, encampment within uh, 24 hours so they took the banners anything that was in what they call property area, uh, park property. Huh? Hi, were you here? I'm I'm streaming live. Yeah, I was here. Um, tell me what happened. The cops came and took everything with the park workers. Around what time? One thirty, two o'clock. And that was with park workers. How many park workers did they have? Maybe eight. Okay, and that was like, that must have been like 2 a.m., 2 or 3 a.m.? I first noticed them assembling over there behind uh, the medical research building, the parking yeah. lot next yeah. door. They were assembling over there. I see. And then the cops all came and lined the street. Park workers all came through the park. And uh, there was, I think there was some kind of city officials spectating over there in the walkway to the park. I see. You know what, and that would, that... Today is Saturday, right? Yeah. So that means that uh, they incurred a lot of expense in, in enforcing this thing. And I know that one of the questions in Bill 54 was whether it would incur additional expense to the city. There was, between police and city workers, a, near 20 people. And wow. And four city officials standing wow. in the background. Uh, supervising I guess okay and then I see um, so this stuff wasn't here and you guys are have rebuilt the uh, encampment or are yeah, I we, guess in the process of rebuilding the encampment well we're helping them clean up kind of we went around the neighborhood and took people's bulk trash and brought oh, it over here wow. to rebuild the camp that's great I noticed yes. they, they took the art installation though they took all the art they said anything inside the park was gone if it was inside the border, it wasn't allowed, we in, weren't allowed to take it. Inside the new, uh, inside the newly constituted border, the border yes. that they claim, the, uh, the border, in fact, that this old man is walking through, so yeah. he's actually, he, if Park he had done now. that, if he had done that, uh, a couple of hours ago or after 10, he would have been subject to arrest, I guess. They were only warning people, there was a couple people came through. And they uh, there, were warning people. To there was out. a, there was like a freelance reporter. I don't think he was with a news crew. San, was that Sanji? Yes. Yeah. No, he's cool. He tried to go interview the uh, officials. I yeah. guess. Yeah. And they and waved the police, him off. The, no, the police came and separated him from the officials. Wow. He's actually with. Him he's back. actually with Civil Beat. He's actually uh, part of the press proper, and they they do know that. So that's interesting. They were. Uh, suppressing any information about it. I know we tried to get video of them and ask them uh, about the, oh, yeah, we why they were turning their... When we tried to get video of them, they turned their back to us. And we we're like, well, why are you turning your back yeah. to what's going on? Do you not approve what you're supervising? You know? and, yeah. and if you don't approve, why are you doing it? And, and where is it coming from? Who's forcing you to do this? Right, right. That's interesting. I'm going to go walk down the street and walk this way and get a... Thank you. As you can see, uh, the tents are still here. They can't seize the tents because staying near the roadside is um, under the protection of the Kanawai Mamalahoi. It is about uh, coming up on 7 a.m. here. So the sun is coming up. 
the police had earlier put these markers right by the side of the road so that people couldn't park and make access here difficult. Uh, it says 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. starting uh, February 12, 0202 to 0206 construction area tollway zone, making it access more difficult. Uh, making it difficult to park, to stay here, to lend solidarity. Of course, there's no construction um, at all. The other thing they did uh, was um, this area of the park right here is very dry. You can see how brown it is by um, suppressing the uh, sprinkler system. And the rest of the park is green. I think you can even see it in this light. The patch of grass across there is green because the sprinklers work. This area, they suppressed the sprinkler system so that it would, uh, I don't know what to call it, desertify, you know, the area. These tents uh, went up uh, less than 24 hours ago. This is the third rebuild of the encampment in 24 hours. Uh, okay, I see flashing blue lights here. Okay, the police are right. If somebody can tweet this out, this would really be great. We've got... Uh, okay, it's after... It's after 5 a.m., so I can back into... Uh, I can back into park territory here. We got two police just arrived at Occupy, Honolulu. I know if there are people watching, you got to tweet this out. Tweet out the link. I'm standing uh, in the uh, park area. It's about 7 a.m. Honolulu time. If somebody can make a video capture, this would be great, because I've heard in the past that other occupies Morning. that... Morning. Morning. How are you guys? We're great. Okay, awesome, good, good. awesome. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm here. Um, my name's H. Doug. I'm just documenting what's going on. Police making uh, two police and two uh, cars with flashing lights made uh, taking notes and made a radio request of some kind. I'm gonna circle around in order to get let people get some perspective. If you just tuned in, and I know a bunch of people have, we are um, at Occupy Honolulu. It's a little after 7 a.m. A few hours ago in the dead of the night, a uh, number of police came, cars and motorcycles, and uh, raided the camp. Uh, there was uh, banners uh, within the redrawn park area, and that they were subject to seizure because the park closes at um, 10 p.m. I don't know if you can see the blue sign with park rules um, behind uh, the police on the left-hand side. That is what for years, many people assumed was the beginning of the park. And in fact, it seems that the city and county and state also considered that the boundary of the park. That boundary was moved from center of the screen all the way to where the sidewalk is to prevent 
as an action against the um, Occupy movement, we just had two more police arrive. There was a large plant of aloe vera stolen, in my opinion, last night. On the right is uh, Lucas Miller of Occupy Honolulu. He's if uh, viewers can tweet out the information that Occupy Honolulu is was uh, attacked last night around 2 a.m., 2.30. It's about 7 a.m. and more police have arrived as the third encampment in 24 hours has gone up. Showed up at 2:30 in the morning, stole all the stuff, and then started power washing and threatened the um, the people sleeping on the sidewalk, sleeping and sitting, staying up, uh, protecting, threatening to power wash them. The police themselves, and we have this on video, suggested that they move, else they might be power washed. Okay. That, that's not communication. Telling us in advance, say a day. A week, a month, that we have a scheduled maintenance, cleaning, blah, blah, blah. Well, I and don't then know what was what conveyed to you in a couple of days prior that everybody was out here, but I know for a fact I drove by and I saw like 20 guys out here for two days prior talking to everybody over here. So, all the guys wearing the bright orange vest. I mean, the first time they took. And then well, all oh, the you mean the. You mean, uh, what's. I'm so confused now, but um, with my days and whatnot. But there was the morning when they were all here over there. We were all here. Media was here, but they never came. They went and kicked on the people at all the park, the homeless population all the there. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. It was all over for Seattle Park. <laughs> that way. Um, they disappeared. They came back, and the media and I'm the crowd died around. down. Then they stole all the stuff. Then they came back last night. So I'm very close to all of the time. No one can get an outreach made by anyone from the city, state, park, police, saying, let's work together so that we don't have to keep throwing away, storing your stuff. Well, let me explain to you what it is. You can ask for property. So there's no place for a person that doesn't have any place to go to go, other than a shelter, an institution, where they get a good food, they get a job, they get a trauma, they get have, separated from their family. You have that same fears out here. Don't you guys think that? As human beings, we have a right to be on Earth. It's not up to us, it's up to the I'm laws. I'm asking you what you think, personally. I cannot answer that. I'm here in an official capacity. Ah, I see. Will you so. come by sometime, off-duty? Check out a GA. They're Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 o'clock. Saturdays at around 2.30, if we don't have an action plan for that day. All right. And but everyone's you ask if I explain to that, do you understand the way the laws are written? Do you understand that? Because you're saying you're not understanding. The laws that are written contradict themselves. Well, Bill 54 goes directly against Kanabai Mamalapoi, which was memorialized in the Hawaii State Constitution. Well, I'm telling you what they're going by. They're using the Bill 54, so that's what it's As opposed about. to the original, it said any person... Well, whenever they pass a new law, that becomes the current guy. Oh, and everything so before that is just... Correct. 
that supersedes the previous law. That, that's something I'm not familiar with. Okay, well, I'm trying to educate you, so that's what you asked for, so we're trying to explain to you. I'm going to have to absorb that All right. the rest of this morning. Have any other questions I can help you with? Let me know if you see my aloe vera plant. I, yeah, I doubt I'll see it, and I wouldn't recognize it as yours because I don't know what you're talking about, so that's unlikely, but check with the Department of Facility Maintenance. They should be the ones that are storing it. You know aloe? I know what it is, but how am I going to recognize it as your plant? It's a big pot, like this, weighs about 40 pounds, it's, it's got a, shelf aloe. I think the problem here is that, uh, like, we're venting frustrations on on individuals supposed to greater systems, and uh, that is not standing frustration, it's been big time, it's been big time, but, uh, I think there's negative energy here for now, um, and um, I think that, you know, go talk to them. Well, no, but just, you know, when you say, like, have you seen my... He, he no, th he, this, this was the point of the conversation when he was done talking to me. Yeah. He explained the law to me. Yeah. He explained how new laws supersede old laws and make them disappear. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't sound right to me. And we have it. We have it. Uh, yeah, I know. On tape. It's wonderful. Uh, Bill 54 oh, okay. supersedes. I mean, that's good. That's good was, that was my opener. And when he was done talking to me, obviously that was my culprit. Is there anything else I can do for you? Let me know if you see my aloe vera. Police uh, leaving now. It was just that there was a very, very anger. You saw me earlier. Yeah, I know. I contained my growling. Oh, no, you were <laughs> You were very... on, man. You were awesome. <laughs> and you're my hero, too, bro. You... That's yeah. You the tent stunt. That was epic, bro. I mean, and so yeah, I, okay. please, I'm... Any any advice I give is with all due respect. Like no, trust me, you know, I know, and I appreciate it. And um, I appreciate you talking to me so that he could comfortably walk away yeah. because he looked rather uncomfortable. He looked uncomfortable. He, wh he what he said is that Bill 54, which is now Ordinance 11-29, yeah. supersedes the Kanavai Mamalahoi. Now I know that is not the case, but what it does demonstrate is the understanding that the police have. Yeah, the lack of understanding. The lack of understanding that the police well, have. Uh, is he wrong? He's yes. completely wrong. It's part of the constitution. Wrong. You can't have a, a oh, city so ordinance. The city ordinance uh, is... It shouldn't even be there. Correct. We yeah. always maintain yeah. that it violated... Yeah. <laughs> we are the champions! <laughs> Right Third champ, right 24 hours. Come and get it, baby. Uh, okay. it better, We're better. still here. Let's take a. First, you can take me on a tour please, of please. the new. Uh, Doug. The new okay. Camp. First of all, when we moved into the park, one of the first things that we did was try and look towards how we can make this more sustainable. Right. We posted recycle bins near the trash cans. Three of them have now been taken. We've got another one. It's temporary cardboard. Right. It's not so nice, but it's something. So they took the recycle bins along with the content. They keep taking the Hawaii, the high five, um, take them, leave them, whatever's bins, which was a, a project right. coming out of the university. Right. A great group of people who right. do wonders for this community. The island, in fact. This is the compost This is the bin. new compost tumbler. I built this myself. It's Identical to the first one that someone else built that Correct. they've taken they took the that we've been unable thing. to claim. Um, now it is incomplete, so I'm starting to show it now. It just needs a latch though, and then we're ready to add our green waste, kitchen scraps, um, whatever food you're not going to use, or grass clippings, or shredded paper, or right. whatever, um, and turn it. Ah, that's really great. You feel this? You turn it as much as possible, and you can actually see this. This is all weeds and debris from my yard. I don't even think I got much food scraps in there. This could use a boost shot of nitrogen. When I was rolling it over here, I yeah. saw a really nice looking. The compost that's developing already from the larger stuff. It's beautiful. Anyway, so we're composting. We're taking a tour of the new uh, Occupy Honolulu. We just came up 
or is coming up right now after police raid last night? Third setup in 24 hours. The tire. Why would we have a tire? One, it's heavy. It can be used as a base for signs. We have a lot of wind uh, here. You'll notice the base on the, um, the signs over there. We'll go, we'll go take stamps. a look. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. This is also good for cooking. You can throw chicken wire over the top, build a fire inside, throw chicken wire over the top, cook your food. Uh, careful with that rubber though, because it's toxic. You don't want right. to cook near it or throw also, it would, in it. It's inflammable. It is also very flammable since it's made of oil or what have you. Doing a Storage. real action reproduction. This is something I'm super stoked about. It just manifested after three months. I've been trying to figure out how do we organize our signs. How do we organize the signs? Granted, these aren't signs yet. These are blank blanks. Right. We need the community to come out, and they're always welcome. In fact, they can make their come own out signs today, right? Anytime. It's Saturday. The art and performance, the art performance and installation working group yeah. will actually be having their meeting at five o'clock. Um, and basically, that's a group of people that's interested in creating beautiful, in, in, uh, intentional, and informative works right. of art. So, we have... Oh, I pulled this up. You can see, it's just a photon frame that organizes our science. We've needed this for three months. Good thing they took all our other stuff and we found this to replace it. Lots of good stuff. Wait till you see the things we come up with. Um, gotta have our cardboard for lightweight, easy transport. I also highly recommend fabric for signs. You can make fabric. a banner and put it in your pocket with a sheet. Some, and some big uh, boards there. That So the signs will be over there once they're completed too. Oh no, hopefully no? they'll be on display. Okay, well... Eventually. Okay. But if if we have an excess and it starts to get cluttered right. and we they can scatter, put which too. happens, because people come and go right. so frequently, they can be organized maybe by topic. By topic, sure. One of the things that I'd like to see Occupy do is start campaigning, and every week or month or Even, right. such and such period of time, we focus on a specific issue. Right now, this being the 24-7 encampment that it is, protest vigil, I really feel that this re resonates with the need for bringing attention to the homeless or houseless population here on Oahu. It's a big deal. There's recent legislation that's been put through that specifically oppresses the most vulnerable fraction of our society. And excuse my French, but it's bullshit. Right? That, right. that was a good mic check. I, in fact, I, uh, I isolated the mic check and mounted it. Oh, wow. get it? Mic check on uh, houselessness. <laughs> Okay, so, stop Apex. Apex not here on this island anymore, but the Asia Pacific Economic Consortium Conference, whatever. Cooperation. Cooper <laughs> oh, like they're... Yeah, like they're cooperating. They're not like, cooperating with us. That's sure not, we're not cooperating um, with them, that's for sure. You know, I'm too tired to get into this. i got to finish this. <laughs> okay. Come around the other side. Sure, sure. I'm, I'm going to stay a little side. bit back so I can keep you in the frame, dude. Okay. Our info booth was taken, along with right. our flyers. Right, that was right here. Along with the stones that held the flyers in place. We have a new info booth, lots of counter room, plenty of storage, good signage. I highly recommend everyone take note, support your local Occupy movement, because when shit hits the fan, you're going to be like, where did they go? They knew how to compost and build and, and come together and prepare community meals and... Um, Now, for people that might be um, just joining that, us, that might be just joining us, or, or don't know what this what this says. Ka na vai ma ma la hoi. Ka na vai ma ma la hoi, or the law of the splintered paddle, was created by King Kamehameha. Now, I'm not an expert on this, so please excuse any errors I come up with, but uh, I'll give you what I know, or what I think I know, and there's a whole story behind it, but basically, the king messed up, he chased some guys he shouldn't have been chasing, and karma, 
got to him. He's got stuck in a rock. These guys were fishermen. They had paddles. They whacked him over the head good. He survived. He's a tough guy. He's a real tough guy. Later, he realized the error in his ways by chasing these vulnerable people when they had nowhere to go. So he created Kanabai Mama Lahoi, basically stating that anyone may seek refuge by the roadside. Let them lay by the road and no harm shall come to them. Here in Honolulu and on the island of Oahu, that is not the case. Although that law is is enshrined in our state constitution right. of this de facto government occupation, um, it's not being honored. You heard that police officer, you know, I, I, I thought he was a rather intelligent guy myself, <laughs> but just apparently a little ignorant of some issues. He thought that, that the constitutional laws were made obsolete by city laws, by some lady in city council who shouldn't even be there in the first place because she's holding various roles that uh, there's conflict of interest there. Uh, she pushed Bill 54 through right against it. Uh, right, going straight against the essence of Santa Bible Malavoy. We are human beings on Earth. I hope you can hear me over the bus. So, in case you didn't, we are human beings on Earth. Where are we supposed to go? What if we don't have property? What if we don't have money? What if we don't have paper that says, this is mine? And what if those people with guns and badges will not protect us because we don't have the paper? Because we don't have the paper. Because we don't have something. What if we choose not to live those ways? Personally, I think with everything that I'm becoming aware of recently, I have no choice but to completely throw out the ideas which the society I was raised within holds to be true. It's that society that honors those values that creates them, that perpetuates those ideas, that, that benefit oppressors and oppression and spread violence. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to own the earth or any part of it. And granted, I still have those consumerist dependencies, but you know what? I get my retail therapy on the side of the road. All of this was trash. It was going to the landfill or to be burnt in what they call recycling here on Oahu. Um, so, reduce, reuse, recycle in that order. Reduce your impact. Don't buy shit. You don't need it. I promise. If you already did, or you can't help yourself, reuse it. And very last resort, recycle it. Recycling actually takes more energy and resources than it did to generally create the product in the first place. Look it up. Um, so I don't want to live that lifestyle anymore. I refuse to buy in to the BS any longer. I want to be at one with my environment. I want to consider the future generations. I may never have kids, but I know there are children out there that are going to want a nice place to live. Clean, you know, fresh drinking water. Clean air. Clean land. But, but the way that our society thrives and capitalism works is that all those things are considered dispensable. And we're left with one giant landfill earth. The landfills are pimples, oozing toxic sludge known as leachate. I don't, I don't want to see that happening. I don't want to see that to continue to happen. We need to start investing our time, energy, money, thought, people power, into cleaning up this mess that we've created instead of perpetuating it. Take a bus, ride a bike, buy used. Yo, the best styles are at the Goodwill and thrift shops. And the side of the road, they're free. I got my stereo off the side of the road. I got my iPod out the trash. 
Uh, my cell phone was gifted to me. Um, my clothes came from Goodwill or trash or, or hand-me-down. Um, sorry for ranting. No, but, that's but good. I hope there's someone out there taking notes. No, it's uh, seven. Uh, it's seven thirty in the morning here. Um, um, what do we need if people out there? It's a Saturday. People can come down if you're in Honolulu. What What do you need? What is there a call for stuff? Okay. Let's get away from the traffic. So let's get away from the traffic. Maybe we'll. And I I can see we our, had some. If there wasn't someone sleeping on our brand new couch, it's gonna sit there, but. Give them yeah. a chance oh, to rest. It's been a long week. Up. In my opinion, the purpose yeah. of the Occupy movement, in my opinion, is to bring people together. It's time for us to reestablish our relationships with ourselves, with one another, and with our environment. Without those relationships, without the communication that it takes to get along, we have nothing. We're left reliant on a corrupt government and corporations whose only incentive, only reason for existing is to profit at any expense. Your expense, my expense, the environment, future generations. It doesn't matter because they're not people. Yet somehow our government honors them as personages and gives them rights the right, same rights as the people, but none of the responsibilities. I'd like to share one of my favorite Hawaiian words with you. It's kuleana, and it has two meanings. And I find it, I'm able to apply this word and use it so often, that's probably why I like it. Kuleana is your responsibility and your privilege. And the more I reflect on that, the more I see them as the same thing. When I first learned it, I was like, oh, that doesn't really make sense. I'm not privileged by having responsibilities. You know, that's maybe my kind of young and mature mindset. But the more I realize it, the more true it is. So, I'm off topic and on a tangent, I apologize. Occupy, occupy. You've been up a long time. I've been up a while. <laughs> and you're doing good, though. Occupy, for me, is about coming together to address our grievances. We may not have the answers right away. We may not ever. But we can do, we can take small steps to make small changes. And essentially, those will equate, end up being major difference, positive, yeah. beneficial difference. I think I've spewed all I can spew. That's good. Morning. And uh, so if people all. want to come down, they can bring come anything occupy, you need to bring? Come to Occupy Honolulu. Help us deoccupy Hawaii. Um, bring stuff, bring food. Bring your, your person. We need people. We don't need stuff. You know, if you like food, bring food with you. If you like art, bring art supplies. If you'd like to share something, bring something to share. They've recently uh, stolen all of our plants for the second or third time now in one day. And um, we need some greenery. You know who I'm talking to out there. If you, if you watch this, if you're watching. Um, we need plants. Potted plants, trimmings. Go cut the, uh, the, the, the old palm frond down and bring it here. And we'll fan you with it. I'll fan you with you. Um, or maybe we'll, we'll weave mats and hats and um, get some good creative stuff going on. It's all about co-creation. The more we gather together, the more we come together, the more powerful we are. That's a there good was idea. something to that people yeah, power. Absolutely right. The power that, that people think the government and corporations have and, and the rich have an illusion. The real power is in here, and here, and here. When our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions are in line, we're balanced, and we'll be well. 
Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Aloha. You want to say anything? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm going to take a, I'm just going to keep kind of walking around so that people yeah. see. Check out the next coming out, though. Yeah, I wish I had been here earlier. I, you know, I must have slipped through the camera call, man. Yeah, no, it's okay. I don't have your number, dog. It was like the I most, gotta get it was the most inconvenient I, time of night, you know. In an emergency, I realized I don't have 75% of the numbers that I need. Yeah. I didn't have newsrooms programmed in my phone, although they didn't answer all night. Yeah. I, I Sanjeev's the guy to call. I got him. He came I got down. him out He's here. Like, and I got yeah. that guy from Star to call his buddies, and they came out here. Great, great. Okay, we're at Occupy Honolulu. There was a raid last night, again, at, uh, must have been, what, 2 a.m., 2.30, around that? Yeah. A uh, bunch of uh, uniformed police and city workers. We must have been uh, getting paid overtime. So I'll take a walk uh, again so we can see. Uh, it's still being rebuilt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up and walk uh, from the corner. And uh, I was here yesterday late afternoon, so I can tell you uh, how things changed. There was a table here, and uh, that was taken. Immediately another um, replacement, now a, a desk kind of drawer kind of thing came up. Uh, signs. This must be a brand new sign. Defend the Occupy movement. Be the change is a sign that's been around for a while. Uh, the Kanavai Mamalahoi um, sign was from the uh, Pu'u Honua during APEC week, the APEC week protest in Waikiki. Sorry to interrupt, Doug. I just realized what we need. They've also stolen all of our literature, our flyers, our info booth is empty. We need flyers, we need magazines, propaganda, get it down here. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks. yeah, I don't know, go black and white, maybe it saves the meat, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that, hand drawn, use recycled paper. Recycled paper. Oh, and recycle the ink. If you live here on Oahu, you can go to Cartridge World and they um, refill all your old ink cartridges. It's a great store. Promote local businesses that do good for the world. That was Lucas Miller, who uh, is the subject of the Free Lucas sign. As you can see, he is free. He was also the dancing free speech tent zone. Uh, as I was saying, this sign, um, the sign itself dates from the uh, APEC week protests in Waikiki. Uh, where Laulani Teal held a um, encampment protesting APEC and the treatment of houseless people and the indigenous. We see the sun coming up over the third Occupy Honolulu encampment in 24 hours. As you can see, the tents are safe. And this has been uh, rebuilt, gleaned uh, from the side of the road to a new uses here at the side of the road. There's actually someone sleeping there, so I'm not going to get too uh, close. I'm going to back up here to the uh, new tent. also put these markers, these uh, signs in, saying that there's going to be uh, construction, but there really isn't any. This basically is to um, limit access. It's very early morning, and that is my shadow, so you can... Uh, know that I am facing west and that is the first insurance building that's kind of our visual marker 
uh, of things. If you're just tuning in, I'm at Occupy Honolulu where there was a raid around 2.30 a.m. 2 or 2.30 a.m. There should be some footage out. Um, Civil Beats uh, Sanjeev was out here. He, he took some video, I'm assuming. That's what the people said. So uh, go to civilbeat.com or... Boy, I wish I remembered his uh, Google... I mean, his uh, YouTube... Uh, name. These are new tents. They're recycled out every 23 hours in order to, um, in, in compliance with the law. I'm going to back into the park now since the park is officially open. And, and here's how the new borders work. I am now on the sidewalk subject to different laws than I am when I'm standing here, which is what the police claim is park. Now let's walk over to where most people think the park starts. For many years, probably since the founding of this park, this rock wall has been considered the border of the park. And in fact, the sign regulating or informing people of the park rules is in fact on this post which is right against the wall. It says notice park closed to the public 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Violators are subject to a fine, imprisonment or both. The authority cited ROH. They don't tell you what ROH is. ROH is the revised ordinances of Honolulu as amended and is signed by the Department of Parks and Recreation, City and County of Honolulu. The park itself is state property. There's a, some kind of lease arrangement. That wall, which I'm going to come back here so we can see all of it, which runs the entire extent of the park, which is right in back of the sign, has for years probably the entire history of this park been considered the boundary between sidewalk and park. Recently, in order to uh, victimize the um, Occupy, in order to raid the Occupy movement, the borders were extended outward and I'm now backing out of the onto the sidewalk area the um, this area where where people would assume is sidewalk was redrawn by the police in order to make arrests of Occupy easier and I don't know if you can see I'm not sure where the actual white blots are. They may have erased their own uh, sign. I think this is an original sign. This white blot, then this side of the sidewalk is actually part. This side of the sidewalk, then, would be considered sidewalk where you could lie undisturbed by the side of the road and then they made a further 
limitation that there had to be 36 inches leeway so that the part to sleep in would only be very close to the edge of the road. I'm going to be signing off soon. I'll be uh, editing uh, some of the capture. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm hoping that this um, will be recorded. Again, I'm at Occupy Honolulu. It's a new day, or it is a new day. In fact, I'll sign off in front of the sign. I'll be uh, live streaming from time to time, um, probably tonight. This afternoon there is a uh, sign making action of some kind, I think. Um, and uh, I'll be there uh, for that. I'll be here for that. I'm kind of loopy myself, I haven't had much sleep. So I'm signing off from the uh, reconstituted uh, Occupy Honolulu and we'll talk to you soon again.